Hello, welcome to my video. Today I would like to do a quick introduction to scripting modeling in Blender. So if you have Blender open, all of the scripting takes place in the scripting layout. Inside the scripting layout, you get this console and a little text pad if you make a hit new you can type into the text pad if we go down to the console the first thing that we're going to want to do is import bpy with bpy imported you can say bpy dot and hit control space to auto complete and you see bpy has app context data ops path props types utils for modeling, most of what we're going to want to do is in data, ops, and app. If we go take a look at data, data has all of the you know things like curves and keyframes, masks, materials, meshes, all the things that you would work with modeling. So let's say we wanted to select this cube. How would we do that? Well, we'd look in data here and go, let's take a look in objects. So if you print out objects, you see we have a collection of three objects. So let's take a look at what those are. Let's see, object zero is the camera. Object one is a cube. Object two is the lamp. And that's you know the default Blender setup. You can also access these data through this, you know, through their names as keys. So you could just say cube because we want the cube. And let's make a shortcut variable to the cube. So let's say OB is equal to bpy.data.objects. Right, so we have access to the cube now stored in the OB variable. You can see that up in the top here. Anything that we do in the 3D view gets an event triggered inside of this little script event log that happens automatically when you're working in Blender. It's really useful for learning how to do some of these things. But some things that it doesn't log that's really annoying is most model actions. Like if you just select a vertice, that's not recorded. There's no log for selecting that vertice. Or if we do a face selection, no log can move the face and it will register a transform on that face but it doesn't register the selection 
So it's just a transform that happened on some face. And there's no context for how that face was chosen. So how do we figure out how to do a face selection if we don't have a log to use as an example? There's a few different ways to do it, but I think the best way to do it is to use the bmesh library that comes with later versions of Blender. I'm not sure exactly what version. It looks like 278. The bmesh module gives API access to a lot of different things like getting vertices. It's really useful. So let's take a look at that. The first thing we have to do is make sure that we're in edit mode, which we are right now, but if we weren't, we could run toggle edit. That would move us into edit mode. We could also, instead of edit mode toggle, we have all of these methods. And in this case, we're interested in mode set. And I'll save you the homework. For mode set, mode set takes a string well, it takes a keyword, it takes mode. In this case, we want edit. No, we'll also move us to edit mode. And if you guessed that we could have also put object in here, that's correct. So let's go into edit mode. So one trick to working with BMesh is we have to set the context for working with the mesh, which we have to get from bpy.context. In this case, the context that we want is the object context, which is somewhere, there it is. And the object context we want the objects data that's what we need to pass to be mesh which is right at the top where you expect it at data if we say bmesh dot from edit mesh and we pass in a data as the argument and make sure to set this to some kind of variable. Ah, make sure to import bmesh. Once we have that mesh variable, if we take a look at that. It's an object, that's the cube, and it looks different than the BPY context object data for the cube. So if we try to figure out what we have available here, we have edges, we have faces, we have loops, and we also have verts. So if we take a look at verts, verts has a few methods on it. So if we just print out verts, there's a sequence object. And Blender sequence objects are like arrays. So you can, you know, sequence zero. We have a vertice object. So 
So if we were to do a completion on that, the amount of methods available on an individual vertice object, we've got all of these. We can get its normal, we can select it, which for this tutorial is what we want to do. And we can call it. Oh, I see. So with nothing selected, if we were to call that. Oh, I see. It doesn't set it to true. We want to actually make it true. Now we see the vertice is selected. We could do something similar with faces. If we face zero select uh, faces, yeah. Now we see that was face zero, and now that is selected. So that's pretty cool. Not in the disorganized manner this was done is kind of how you can go about figuring out how to script modeling actions in Blender and figuring out things that don't register as events when you're working with the model. So I hope you found this useful and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. Thank you.